Hi, my name is Frankie Colopy, and I'm here on behalf of IMEX m and Limited. Um, we are employed by Origin and Hills to go through a few of the things that you might find a little bit difficult in your new home, mainly the mechanical and electrical items. The first item I'm going to walk you through is your NVHR. This is your mechanical ventilation heat recovery. This is located within your HRU cupboard with your heating and your washing machine. This will supply fresh air into your bedroom and living areas and e extract air from your bathroom and kitchen areas. When you go into your bathroom, you'll note when you turn on the light switch, there will be a better extract rate. This is going into your boost mode. As you leave the bathroom, it will run on for another five minutes to ensure that there are no unwanted smells or steam within your property. This is the same for the kitchen. Within the kitchen area, you'll find a boost switch, which will extract more once you're cooking. So your MVHR unit has two fans to supply an extract. As it's extracting air from your property, it goes through a heater battery within the unit and exchanges the heat to this fresh air coming from outside so that the air coming into your property is of a suitable temperature. These units have been professionally commissioned by our engineers on site. You'll notice throughout your property there are white exhaust valves and white extract valves. These are to be left alone. They are commissioned to have a certain gap in between them so that they have a certain flow rate going through them depending on the size of your property. If you block them up, close them, you might have a little bit of noise and vibration throughout the property. These are your filters which can be changed on a regular basis or cleaned by taking them out and giving them a hoover. Your mains cold water stopcock is located in the same cupboard. If you want to isolate your water, just put it down in the downward motion. Everything should be isolated to your property. And then if you want to, if you're finished doing your works, changing the tap, etc., you can turn it straight back up. When you've isolated your stopcock, that means there will be no water, hot or cold, to your property. As you can see from your cupboard, every isolation valve will be carefully labelled so you know exactly which one you need to use and when. First and foremost, there's no gas to your property. The heat interface unit here is essentially your boiler. This will supply you with your heating and your hot water to the property. There is a, a few spur, which is a switch that energises your heat in the face unit up here, which should be left on at all times, otherwise you'll have no heat or hot water. The heating comes from the downstairs plant room in the basement into your interface unit. This will then go into your underfloor heating manifold, which is below here, which also has a power supply and a pump to it. You'll notice that there's no radiators in your property. This is because uh, all of your heating is supplied by underfloor heating. This will be controlled by a central programmer in your cupboard and also thermostats located in each of the rooms around the property. You can turn it up to a certain degree temperature. As it's warm today, I'll turn it all the way up and you'll notice that your heating will kick in. That means now that you are heating up this room. It's advisable to have this at around 19 to 21 degrees just to maintain comfort. Your programmer is already set up so you have two time zones where it'll go from seven o'clock in the morning to nine o'clock in the morning. And then in the afternoon, it'll go from four o'clock in the afternoon to eight o'clock in the evening. This is your in-flat programmer. This helps you control your underfloor heating. So everything's on zone one. If you wanted to edit it, you can, but they're pre-set up. So your first time zone is between seven o'clock and off at nine. And your second time zone is on at four o'clock and off at eight o'clock. This can be edited by simply pressing up or down. All of your heating will be monitored by an internal meter within the HIU and a smart meter. Your Guru unit is a energy, smart energy meter, which is monitored remotely. Um, this is to help monitor how much you're spending on your bills and also to monitor on your energy usage and ways in which we can improve your usage of your energy. For this to work, you have to have your heat interface unit sign. For the Guru, you can notify your account information simply by pressing account info and then meter reading. You can send this off to whoever you pay your bills to and they'll be able to monitor from your meter readings. If you wanted to top up, you enter your code that you get supplied and then you should be able to top up from there. This is your BT hub and this is what will supply your internet, so leave it plugged in at all times. This is your main uh, electrical meter and this is your main electrical power. So if anything does happen in your property, you can turn everything off at once. You can also turn it all back on at the same time. We'll get supplied with two of these keys. 
This is for your electrical board. And it will detail every ring main that you have throughout your property. So if you only need to isolate one point, you'll be able to turn that one point off. For example, the lights in the flap. So you'll be able to work on the lights. You have your MVHR, your washing machine, your underfloor heating, your heat interface unit, your main electrical meter, and your guru meter. Uh, this is your electric tower rail. This gets powered by outside above your bathroom door. If you want to turn it on, simply turn it on. You have up and down settings. If you want to turn it off, you turn it on. This is your tower rail spur for your tower rail within your bathroom. It's out of kids' way, so you can turn it off and it won't work inside. Uh, this is your door entry system. From here, you can check the cameras. You can move around using ones and twos. Press three to confirm. You are block D. Confirm. Confirm. Now you can see who's outside. If someone wants to call your property, they simply press the door number. And when someone answers, they will be able to hear you. In the event of a fire, and there is a lot of smoke in the communal areas, fire doors are open automatically if you're escaping. And this is your sprinkler head. This will, in the event of a fire, drop down and spray the room with water. There is a sprinkler head in your kitchen, in your bedroom, in your living room, and sometimes in your bathrooms. It's advisable not to touch these. This is a life safety system. If they do burst, the property will get wet. You smoke along, and in the event of a fire, in the event of an excess smoke in the property, you'll hear this. This is your kitchen extract. This is your kitchen heat detector. So your hot water will take approximately 45 seconds to 50 seconds to get hot. Your fridge freezer, your dishwasher and your cooker hood are all labelled in the kitchen.